vote in Ashama. If you claim that NDC, Ashama belongs to the NDC, for that matter, you will not do or you will not bring any environmental project to Ashama. What about the 45,000 people who have voted for them? What about them? They have to look at them and they have to serve the people of Ashama because we also pay taxes. The, the drivers are complaining. They pay a road wedding. They do everything. They pay their taxes, insurance, everything. So why, why not? Why, what, what crime have we committed in Ashama to extend that the government will refuse to turn to us? To turn to us. Everybody is complaining. You have seen it all over. And so we are calling on the government, the MPP government, the Nakufaro government, the insensitive government to come to our aid, to come to the plight, to see what exactly is happening in Ashama and also come to our aid, construct our roads. That is all we seek for. Honorable. Also forget that the flag bearer of the NDC, that is His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, has promised us in 2020 in the manifesto that he was going to make sure that all, I mean, access roads in Ashama will be asphalted. He, make, he also promised us that he was going to upgrade Ashama from municipal assembly status to metropolitan assembly status. And when that is done, all other things will be added onto it. So if this government fails, to construct our roads, or to come to our aid, or to bring any developmental projects to Ashama. I know, inshallah, in 2025, January 7, when John Dramani Mahama assumes office, he will make sure all these things are given back to the people of Ashama. You two weeks ultimatum. After the two weeks, when nothing is done, then you can say that, oh, it is one of those talks. But I am assuring you, that no matter the case, we will engage the police. And I know the police, they are also feeling the heat in Ashama. The Ashama police, the divisional police, they are also feeling the heat. The state of our roads, they are also feeling it. They know very well what is happening. And so they will give us that permit. But in the unlikely event, in the unlikely event that they refuse to give us the permit, when we get to that bridge, we will also know how to cross very simple that we are calling on the government to come and fix our roads our roads are very bad our roads are damaged every aspect of our roads every crude and cranny of the roads in ashama has been so bad to extend that drivers motorists residents and pedestrians everybody is complaining about our roads and the mindset of the people is that it is the duty of the mp to construct our roads or to reshape our roads, which is not true. And that is all the more reason why today I organize this press briefing to make sure that the press ascertain the extent of the damaged roads in Ashaman. And they know, they feel the pain of the people of Ashaman and exactly also know exactly what is pertaining on the ground. So this is just a simple message that we are sending to the government that our roads are very bad. In 2016, before John Mahama will leave office, what did he do? He gave us almost 23 kilometer roads in Ashaman. We started from Presby Junction, going to Police Junction. When we got to Roman uh, Church area, we lost power. And when this government came, what happened? They said they were doing auditing. They took all the 23 kilometer road that John Mahama gave to Ashama, awarded to, on contract to the contractor to be done in Ashama, they took all of them to Tema. We also started the one at traffic to Katamanso, they also stopped it. Even the main road, the Ashama Highway, that was con constructed under John uh, Evans Atamils and John Dramani Mahama. 95% complete, left with 5% for this government to complete it, put the second coat of asphalt on it, they refused, and still it's also in a deplorable state. And so we are just saying simply, that the government should come and fix our roads. And we are giving them 14 days, two weeks, yes, yes, 14 yes, days yes, ultimatum. Sure. If they refuse to come to the road, we we'll advise ourselves by demonstrating massively yes. on the roads. Yes. We we'll block traffic, a mammoth demonstration will happen in Ashama if they refuse, if they refuse to come to the roads. All those roads 
that they said, they claim, they have awarded on contract. We want the contractors to come to the roads. We pay taxes. We are also Ghanaians. We are citizens of Ghana. Yes. For that matter, we deserve better. Yes. MP Boho Ashama decided to go and show you what the state of our roads are in Ashama. And our message is very simple. We are also Ghanaian and deserve to benefit from the national cake. Yes. The people of Ashama has not done anything wrong to this particular government. Yes. And so what other constituencies are getting, we also deserve same. And so our gathering here is to tell you to send to the people up there in Accra, to send to the Minister of Roads, to send to Akufuado and all his members that the people of Ashama are not going to continue to tolerate this discrimination. Whatever development that we need and deserve, we are demanding. And so we want to send a very clear message to them that this country was founded based on the revolution. It was founded based on the fight of all collective Ghanaians. And so from today going forward, the people of Ashama are going to stand firm and fight for their rights. We are going to stand firm and fight for what we deserve. And what we are telling them is that we are not going to listen to any excuses. We are not going to listen to any explanation. All we want is that fix our roads. All we want is that fix our roads. And so bear the wrath of the people of Ashama. No military, no police, no force can stand the wrath of the people of Ashama. And so we are letting them know that we have been fair with them. We have been patient with them. We have listened to them, but this time around, we are not going to tolerate any excuses. And so from now, our message is fix our road. Our message is fix our road. We are ready for the government because of that. Our roads are bad. I think that about six and a half years now, one MPP take power in Ashama, we didn't see nothing about our roads. Because of that thing, always we are suffering. Always traffic in the roads. It's not the cars are many who cannot go. Because of the portals of Ashama, always traffic in Ashama. Because of that thing, now we are coming out fully to show our concern for Ashama citizens to know that they have people who can fight for them. Because of that thing, we want... We want to make the fees our road for us. If they didn't fix our roads for us, we are not going to listen to anybody. We deserve. We are, pay, we are paying taxes to the government. Even the roads who John Dramani Mahama has made, remaining one quote to finish, they didn't do it. By when they come, they mark the road, collecting tolls, we don't know why the money is going. Because of that, thing, that only tour can do the road for us. Because of that, thing, we are calling on the assembly and the minister of road and Akufuado and Kenuru Fogata, he is the finance minister, to come our age to help the Ashama to fix our road. Fix our road. Fix our road. We are ready. Fix our road. Thank you. Question, the MP will answer that question. I know that the NDC has done a lot for Ashama people. Thank you.